Imagine you have a message you want to share with a specific group of people. Instead of shouting into a crowd, you rent a loudspeaker from someone who already has that crowd's attention. That's what solo ads are, like renting a loudspeaker to reach your target audience. In the world of online business, solo ads are emails sent to a pre-existing email list owned by someone else. Think of it as borrowing someone else's audience for a short time. These emails are highly targeted, meaning they reach people who are already interested in a specific topic or niche similar to yours. Why are they called solo? Because your ad is the only one being promoted in that email. It's like having the stage all to yourself. Solo ads are a powerful tool for businesses looking to drive traffic to their website, generate leads, or boost sales. They offer a direct line of communication with a highly engaged audience that's ready to hear what you have to say. Let's say you're selling a course on how to train dogs. You want to get the word out to dog lovers. Here's how solo ads work. 1. Find a list owner. You find someone with a large email list of people who subscribe to their dog training tips newsletter. 2. Strike a deal. You pay the list owner a fee to send an email to their subscribers. This email will contain an advertisement for your dog training course. 3. Craft your ad. You create a compelling email ad showcasing the benefits of your course and include a clear call to action, prompting readers to click and learn more. 4. Send and track. The list owner sends the email to their subscribers. You track the results closely, measuring clicks, leads generated, and sales made. It's like placing a flyer on the windshield of every car in a parking lot designated for pet owners. You're reaching a highly targeted audience with a higher chance of conversion. The cost of solo ads can vary greatly depending on several factors, making it crucial to understand the pricing dynamics before diving in. Niche. Some niches are more competitive than others, leading to higher ad costs. For example, financial or make-money online niches tend to be pricier than gardening or pet care. List quality. A responsive and engaged email list commands a higher price than a list with low, open, and click-through rates. Email quantity. Generally, the more emails you want to send, the lower the cost per email. List owners often offer bulk discounts. Typically, solo ad costs are calculated per click or CPC, rather than per thousand impressions or CPM like display ads. This means you only pay when someone clicks on your ad in the email, making it a more performance-based advertising model. Section 4. Measuring the Effectiveness Calculating Solo Ad ROI Return on investment or ROI is the holy grail of any marketing campaign, and solo ads are no exception. So, here's how to measure the effectiveness of your solo ad campaigns. Use tracking links in your emails to monitor clicks, leads, and sales generated from each solo ad campaign. This data is crucial for calculating your ROI. Subtract your total ad spend from the revenue generated, then divide by the ad spend. Multiply by 100 to get your ROI percentage. For example, if you spent $500 on solo ads and generated $1,000 in revenue, your ROI would be 100%. Don't just track the numbers, analyze them. Identify which solo ads perform best and which ones fall short. Use this data to refine your targeting, messaging, and overall campaign strategy for better future results. By diligently tracking your solo ad campaigns and analyzing their performance, you can make informed decisions about your marketing budget and maximize your returns. Section 5. Making solo ads work for you. Tips for success. Targeted list selection. The success of your solo ad campaign hinges on reaching the right audience. Choose list owners whose audiences align perfectly with your target market. Compelling ad copy. Your email ad copy is your sales pitch in the inbox. Make it concise, attention-grabbing, and benefit-oriented. Highlight the value proposition of your offer and include a clear call to action. A-B testing. Don't assume you know what works best. Test different ad headlines, body copy, and calls to action to see what resonates most with your target audience. Build relationships. Nurturing relationships with list owners can lead to better ad placement, preferred pricing, and long-term partnerships. By following these tips, you can increase your chances of solo ad success and achieve a positive return on your investment. Section 6. The Verdict. Do solo ads still hold their ground in 2024? In the ever-evolving world of digital marketing, it's natural to question the relevance of traditional methods. So, do solo ads still work in 2024? The answer is a resounding yes, but with a caveat. 
Solo ads can still be highly effective, but they require a strategic approach. Unlike other forms of advertising that have become saturated and less effective, solo ads provide a direct line to a highly engaged audience. This targeted approach can yield impressive results when done right. However, it's crucial to remember that solo ads are not a magic bullet. They require careful planning, execution, and ongoing optimization to achieve optimal results. Like any marketing strategy, solo ads have their pros and cons. By weighing the costs, benefits, and potential ROI, businesses can determine if solo ads align with their marketing objectives and budget in 2024 and beyond.